We, the National Football League, believe Black Lives Matter. I personally protest. Yeah, I just don't agree, sir. The investigation into a lawsuit claiming the NFL uses race as a factor in determining which former players are compensated for suffering head injuries. I've been ready for three years. I've been denied for three years. I think everyone knows what the issue is. <laughs> and we're, we're done with that. His lawsuit claims the NFL has failed to create a fairer hiring process. Quote, nothing has changed. In fact, the racial discrimination has only been made worse by the NFL's disingenuous commitment to social equity. Um, Okay, I think we passed kneeling. Flores is alleging, guys, because he has a text from Patriots head coach Bill Belichick congratulating Flores on getting hired by the Giants. Well, Flores hadn't interviewed yet. You make claims that you were offered $100,000 for each game this team lose um, subsequently uh, t to get a better draft pick. I didn't grow up with a lot in this game, you know, changed my life. Uh, so to attack the integrity of the game, that's, that's what I felt was happening in that instance, and um, I wouldn't stand for it. And that was Dolphins owner, Stephen Ross. Yes. Lest we forget Brian Flores' lawsuit against the National Football League. So in addition, Flores' lawyers, who were joined in the lawsuit by former Arizona Cardinals head coach Steve Wilkes, was really given the shaft during his short tenure with the Cardinals, of course. And long time, and when I say long time, I mean long time coach Ray Horton. I believe he's been in the NFL since the early 90s. Here's what the lawyers argue. Back in May, in the case of racist hiring practices in the NFL, their lawyer told a federal judge the case should not be sent to arbitration because the designated mediator, League Commissioner Roger Goodell, was biased. So you heard this correctly. And this shows you the powers that be in the National Football League. That because of Roger Goodell's unyielding power and the space to do almost whatever he pleases by the billionaire class of owners that control the National Football League and put him in this position to have said unyielding power. Well, problems are what they want to disappear at all times. And that's why they gave him and allotted him what he has. Thus, in this case, totally impractical, but Roger Goodell would serve as the mediator. If it sounds off and kind of corruption-like, that's because it is. In papers filed in Manhattan Federal Court, the lawyers wrote that arbitration would allow unconscionably biased, one-sided, kangaroo courts to decide the outcome of the lawsuit filed in February by Brian Flores, who was fired in January as head coach of the Miami Dolphins. He is now an assistant coach with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Their lawyer said Goodell, who would lead the arbitration if the case is not decided by a jury, could not be fair in overseeing and ruling on the dispute as to whether the league engages in systemic discrimination. They included in their submission article about Goodell's salary and other personal details. They cited the hundreds of millions of dollars he earns from teams, his public statement that the lawsuit is without merit, and the likelihood that he could be a witness in the case. Letting Goodell preside over the case would deviate from established authority and societal norms and create a new standard for arbitration that would let it be approved no matter how biased and unfair the process lawyers for the coaches said in their latest submission by the way roger goodell makes about 40 million dollars per year i remember a previous piece we did where michael bennett said he would be the highest paid player that gives some perspective the commissioner's making about $40 million a year, which shows that the NFL owners are giving him a tap and saying, good boy. So it is fair to contend Roger Goodell's bias because 
The only reason he is in this position is to fight for the owners and maximize revenue as much as possible. And as I said previously, make problems go away. That's what he's supposed to do. Also, when there is an issue, of which there are plenty in this league, he goes up there and takes the bullets so the owners don't have to. He's the one sweating in press conferences so the owners don't have to. That's why he gets so much money. So it is fair to question, how can Roger Goodell remain neutral when he represents the top 1% and the 1% is being sued? I know I'm letting it marinate, but it's a fair question to ask. We probably shouldn't overthink this. Because what he is doing is providing cover for the alleged racist practices of ownership. He cannot be unbiased. Put simply, the NFL has forfeited its credibility on just about any issue within an area code of morals and ethics. Its sense of civic responsibility has a trophy to almost nothing. And its public conscience is largely vestigial. On August 4th, U.S. District Judge Valerie Caproni ruled that the plaintiffs' lawyers wouldn't be allowed to look for more evidence to submit in support of their attempt to keep the suit out of arbitration. The development was expected to shorten the amount of time it takes for the judge to make a final ruling on the venue for the lawsuit. 